I've been, um, if, if my game is a, is a 9 out of 10, my, my mental game was a 1 out of 10 for my whole career, really. And um, that's what's kept me from being the player that I could have been um, coming off of this tour back in 2016, being a rookie. And, um, you know, sheer talent got, got kind of, I got away with it for a little while. And, um, you know, I turned 30 in less than a month. And I just kind of had a hard talk to myself and, and, and realized that I'm getting a second chance. And, um, you know, luckily we play a, a game where, uh, we can have careers into our 50s, and um, so 30 is still young, and uh, I feel like I have a lot of head, a lot of head, good golf ahead of me. And who is your instructor? Uh, Ted Key, back home in uh, Raleigh, in Raleigh, where um, at Carolina Country Club, Webb Simpson grew up taking lessons from him. So and yeah, I've been working with him since I was nine years old. So I, I met with a, uh, a mental mental coach last week. Um, we had two weeks off, obviously, from Boise and. Uh, I went to Florida, didn't touch a club for like nine days, just kind of took a hard reset. And um, my, my coach back home, my, my instructor, uh, knew this guy out in San Diego and thought it'd be good for me. My dad thought it'd be good for me. And so I hopped on a plane from Florida and went straight there. And it was a two night trip. It was an exhausting trip, but obviously I got a big return on my investment just in one week. And, um, you know, if I can, if I can handle myself like this going forward every week, and, and I'm not going to be perfect, but if I can do, at, you know, it's good a job as I can, then I think I can be an elite player. Yeah, you know, it's always you always want to make your parents proud. Um, I think uh, I think we all want to, um, you know, li live vicariously through them, and, and, and hopefully they raise us right, and, and, and they have for me. And there's been moments in my career where I probably let them down, and um, you know, I was still always their son, and uh, you know, they loved me through the through the bad times, but um, to to, to act like a professional and, and, to, and to just act like a professional I think makes them proud and uh, I can look in the mirror tonight and be proud of myself for how I you know behaved out there and um, under the gun and, and under pre pressure situations. Yeah, you know they, I think they were trying they looked at flights to, to come here and uh, I guess they didn't pull the trigger but um, I told them that I would uh, I would I'd win in front of them soon and uh, I believe it and um, you know they're my biggest supporters and uh, you know whether I lose or lose or win they're gonna love me just as much and um, and that's crucial to have people like that in your circle and uh, it takes a lot of pressure off of you for sure yeah. it kept me in the moment and um, you know we, we we're lucky and we play we play a game for a living and, and it's not the end of the world and um, you know everyone always talks about perspective but it really is perspective and uh, it's uh, it's crazy how um, fear is uh, one of those things that it, it happens to all of us. Uh, we wouldn't be human if we didn't experience fear. And uh, being out here on the golf course trying to win tournaments, there's a lot of things going through your mind. And um, whether you want to call it fear or not, uh, I think that us men don't like to use that word. But um, there's a lot of times where, oh, there's water left. You don't want to hit it left. That's that's a fearful, you know. <laughs> no, but, uh, you know, my mom and dad both are really, you know, huge supporters. And, and my, mo my mom has such a, uh, such a good outlook on life in general she went through a horrific accident um, when I was little and I think it turned her perspective on life and she's really in her into her faith and um, in the last couple of years she's had some um, some some deaths in the family that were you know her mom and her great aunt and uncle were, were pretty much they died within a few days of each other and um, you know just seeing her going through all that and and obviously her accident years ago it it, it, how strong she is um when she tells me something like that um i listen now because um i i, I really truly believe that she comes from uh, a place where uh it's it's been really hard for her to uh she's seen dark times and she's gotten through them and um I think she really just doesn't want to see her, you know, son, I'm, I'm one of three, so um, one of three kids. And she just wants to see us all be happy, more, most importantly. Um, and I think when she knew that um, I finally was able to stop drinking, um, she knew my talent was always there. And um, she kept reminding me, like, you know, when I was a kid, like, you know the parents or the or even the kids in the in the in the tournament would always say oh it's Grayson playing oh well we're playing for second now and you know that was the attitude I had when I was a kid and it wasn't arrogance it wasn't cockiness it was just like I was really good and um 
you know, it's hard to get back to that mentality out here because, you know, you're playing against guys that were just as good as me as a kid. Um, but there is some type of level in this that you have to have within yourself to tell yourself that I am one of the best and I belong out here. And um, just her encouraging words is always um, is always meaningful. Yeah. And I would imagine there's some level of freedom playing out here now that I think you're about 10 or 11 months sober from mm -hmm. from drinking on. That's got to free you up in, in a lot of ways, I'd imagine, right? It does. Um, I mentioned in, in Gary Gary's podcast um, that you alluded to, um, going to bed at night, like my parents don't have to worry, you know, getting that phone call, which is probably the best gift I can give them. Um, you know, they, they uh, obviously I'm in more peace and, and um, you know, giving them that peace of mind, it's now they can focus on just being loving parents and now they're grandparents. So um, focus on being, you know, the best grandparents they can be. And um, I hope that adds a lot of life to their to their life. Uh, they're getting up there. My dad's about to be 74. And, you know, I just want to see him his last, you know, hopefully he's got 20 year, more years in him, but his last 20 years be like the best years of his life for um, because because I make it, you know, easier on him. Um, anytime you can spend uh, a week with your with your favorite people uh it just makes it that much more special and um you know i wish we could do it more often but you know everyone has their daily life they have to go about and um you know i hope i hope we can make it a tradition every year to for augusta yeah my parents uh have been through uh you know hell and back basically for the last six years with me uh fighting um some some mental stuff and um it's not easy on me and, and the people around me that love me. They don't like to see me down, and um, they've been my number one supporters, and everyone has their battles. And um, sometimes they're, um, people are able to hide them and, and, and function, and sometimes you're not. And, uh, you know, I think our society now is getting better about accepting that, you know, it's okay to not be okay type deal, and um, I've embraced that type. Uh, mentality and um, not ashamed that I go through depression anxiety and um, you know I, I know I've helped people out in the past just through my social media DMs people messaging me and um, you know and that's I think part of uh, I can use my platform to do to continue to to help um, with things like that. Grayson Murray a two-time PGA tour winner who battled alcohol issues and depression has passed away. He played the first round and part of the second round in this week's Charles Schwab Challenge, but withdrew from the event after 16 holes. His cause of death has not been given at this time. He attended Wake Forest University, East Carolina University and Arizona State University and later won the 2017 Barbasso Championship and the 2024 Sony Open in Hawaii. He was reportedly due to marry his fiancée, Christina this spring. Grayson died at 30 years old. He won the Sony Open in a playoff earlier this year, ending a six-year winless drought during which he would struggle both mentally and physically. Two-time major winner Baba Watson said in a statement in quotes, Very sad to hear the news of Grayson Murray's passing today. Life is so fragile. I was just hugging you at the Masters, telling you how proud of you I am. Thankful to have known you. Here at Nice Nivon, we send our condolences to his family, friends, and fans. May his soul rest in peace. We get this question a lot, but what's the dynamic like between you and Kip out there? What is his main role? I mean, is he doing a lot of reads for you? Is it keeping you mentally there? What, is, what does he do for you out the course? Yeah, he's a, he's a huge cheerleader. He keeps him very positive. He tells me how good I am. And, um, you know, he, he helps me... Um, Read, read greens uh, when I call them in. We, we do a very good job of reading together. And um, yeah, I mean, we, we are growing together. We weren't perfect. Uh, even, you know, my first win, we probably could have played that 18th hole a little better. And, um, you know, we talk about it. We try to we try to get better as a team. And, um, and that's important. I don't think uh, I don't think any team out here is um, going to be perfect from the start. It's, it's always kind of a, a growing process. And, uh, you know, we're, we're starting to 
to really mesh well out there. And your high school teammate Carter Jenkins, he yeah. finished second. What awesome. what impresses you about his game, and just what memories do you have of playing, you know, high school golf? Yeah, we played high school golf. We won a uh, state championship together. We practiced all the time together, and um, I always knew he had the game. And um, you know, he took a little longer to get out here, but that doesn't matter. He's out here and he's doing well. And uh, I hope he can hope he can get his card as well as well. And uh, yeah, I mean, Carter's a great kid and comes from a great family. And um, I'm excited. I didn't know he came in second, but very excited that the two Raleigh boys are on top of the leaderboard. Awesome. That's it. Thank you so much. Yes. Did you want to get